what's up guys it's McNulty here welcome back to the channel so we have the war of three kingdoms which is about to start up in the next couple of days and i've been assigned to the Wu kingdom once again um so please let me know what kingdom you are assigned to and obviously the funny names of your teams once we get started um, and we have one new hero that's been dropped into the portal. So we're going to have a look at this guy today, um, Zhong Shanzhen. Uh, yeah, I think I got that right. So Zhong Shanzhen, um, we have a new dark hero and he definitely looks beastly, but I'm not sure what's going on because I think his face <laughs> is just grossly disformed. Um, so I'm not sure if that's an error in terms of the art that they've done or if that's the way he's supposed to look. Haven't looked at the history on this hero either, but I'm sure that there's some kind of history behind him. Also not sure where that little horn's gone, sort of disappeared into his hair. So without any further ado, let's have a look at this guy. Let's see what he does. Let's see whether he's going to stand the test of time um, or whether he's just going to be a flash in the pan. So first of all, he is of the Paladin class. So he's got the chance to withstand or defend or put defense up when he takes damage from any sort of special skills. It's a pretty decent tank if you, uh, class if you're looking to use him as a tank. Um, and he is of the Journey family. So he's one of the Journey heroes. They do get a bonus for one, two or three heroes, which is a 50% chance to increase the duration of any status effect he casts uh, by either one, two or three turns. Um, so that's a pretty decent bonus that he gets um, from the Journey family. Um, and he obviously is going to be dealing some kind of status ailment. So we'll have a look and see what he does in just a sec. Now, in terms of stats, we are looking at... Without the max power preview, 735 attack, 877 defense, so nice high defensive stat, and 1532 health. If we do go ahead and switch the max power preview on, we're going to get nearly a 1,000 attack, so that's pretty okay. I mean, obviously, his attack is lower anyway. He's got 1215 on the defense and 2000 over 2000 health. So he is going to be survivable. He does also benefit from the healing increase um, ether talent. So that means that at the start of the battle, he'll get 50% increase for any healing received for six turns. So that is a pretty decent one, um, especially if you're bringing him on a team which is sort of healer heavy. Um, any healing that goes off, including healing that he would cast, um, is going to be increased by 50% for the first six turns. So that is a good ether talent right off the bat for him. Now, in terms of the special, we are looking at Fury of the Mountain Lord. Cool sounding special. He's running at average speed and he at average speed will be reducing the max health of the target and nearby allies by 800 over four turns. That's a pretty decent reduction. And sorry, I'm going back and forth. I just want to make sure that you guys can see this horrible looking hero. <laughs> he reduces the max health by 800 over four turns. All right, so that's about 200 health reduction per turn. Then the caster and nearby allies regenerate 800 boosted health over four turns. So this is going to work in conjunction with the heal increase. If you do add second limit breaks, it'll mean he's getting an extra 50% health uh, boost over those four turns. And the boosted health can obviously exceed max HP. So it's 200 health reduction per turn for the enemy, for all enemies. And it's, it's 200 boosted health um, for all allies. So that's pretty cool. Um, the target and nearby enemies get minus 24% mana generation for four turns. Okay, so this one's to the target and nearby. He's reducing their mana generation by just the right amount to make it really annoying. And the caster and nearby allies get plus 24% mana generation for four turns. All right, so this is an interesting hero. Um, and I'll go over exactly why just right now, because he is affecting both the enemies and the allies so if you're going to go up against him you're going to need number one you're going to need a boosted health healer um, because he's going to be reducing your health and the only way to get that back is with a health boost so you're definitely going to need a health booster um, you're also going to want to have a cleanser 
um, because he's going to be reducing your mana generation for four turns. Um, so you're going to want to cleanse that effect and you're going to need a dispeller um, because he's giving himself plus 24 percent mana generation the health boost that he's giving is also a buff um so yeah yeah he's pretty difficult to deal with um however the saving grace for this guy is that he's not dealing any direct damage so the health reduction is i mean it can be seen as direct damage but it's not really direct it's more of a damage over time effect so if you do have a counter to that either a cleanse ready to go straight away um you'll probably only lose 200 maybe 400 if it takes you a turn to get that health uh, that cleanse uh, going um and then the health boost um is sort of a counter to him as well um so yeah, I'm not 100% sold on this hero. I think that the other heroes that are in this portal at the moment are a lot better in a lot of different ways. Um, he, there is, I can see an argument made for him being a really good tank. I mean, if you do get your hands on him, he's probably going to frustrate people if you did pop him in the tank position. Um, but I would sort of struggle to find many areas of the game other than in Wars where I think this guy would be particularly useful. Um, so yeah, number one, not a fan of the art. Uh, number two, not the hugest fan of the special. I mean, let me know if you think I'm missing something. But um, overall, I think this guy is a pretty sort of average hero, even though he's doing so much um, compared to some of the other heroes that we've got in this portal. Now, Zhang Shanzhen is not featured. So the featured heroes are Queen Gowang, who is absolutely incredible. Not a fan of her ether talent or ether power, though. Um, Erlang Shen and this guy I'm growing to love more and more. Um, I didn't manage to get my hands on him, but certainly facing him, I can see he's he's an absolute beast. Um, so a great hero. And then Sun Quan, who is amazing as well. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of glad that they didn't feature the new hero. Never, never usually say that, but I am in this guy's case. Um, so yeah, on, honestly, congrats if you do manage to grab him. Um, but I think if it was me pulling in this portal, I'd be more focused on the other featured heroes. So I think that's pretty much all I've got to say about Zhang Shan Zhen for now. So I wish you guys all of the best in your War of Three Kingdoms. Hopefully you're managing to build up some extra teams to get to that 12 team um, cap that you need for this event. And um, I wish you guys all the best in your summons as well. So I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now. Thank you.